creating blog content quickly without sacrificing quality requires a strategic approach and efficient processes. Here are six powerful tips to help you produce blog content more rapidly. Tip number one, plan ahead. Planning ahead is a foundational step in creating blog content efficiently and effectively. It encompasses several key actions and strategies that ensure you're prepared to produce content consistently without sacrificing quality. Create a content calendar to plan out your posts in advance. This includes not just the topics, but also the type of content, such as blog posts, videos, and infographics, along with its publication date. While it's important to stick to your calendar, also allow room for adjustments. This can accommodate timely topics or changes in your strategy. Batch your work and establish blocks of time to accomplish tasks. For example, dedicate a day to brainstorming post ideas, another day to outlining, then block out specific times for writing. Batching increases efficiency by keeping your mind focused on one type of task at a time. Utilize tools like Trello, Asana, or Google Calendar to organize your content schedule. Many of these tools allow for collaboration, making them excellent for teams. Use tools and resources for content idea generation, such as BuzzSumo, Google Trends, or Answer the Public. These can help you find popular or emerging topics within your niche. Start collecting ideas on a spreadsheet as you think of them. Before long, you will have many ideas to choose from. Tip number two, streamline your research. Streamlining your research is about maximizing efficiency while gathering the necessary information to create high quality blog content. Before starting your research, have a clear understanding of the topic you're writing about. This helps in narrowing down the scope of your research. Identify the main questions your blog post aims to answer. This guides your research and keeps it focused. Begin your research with sources you trust and are known for their credibility. This can include academic journals, reputable news outlets, and authoritative websites in your niche. Allocate a specific amount of time for research per article to prevent falling into a rabbit hole. Once your time is up, start synthesizing your findings into your content. Look for information that directly answers your key questions or adds value to your topic. Avoid getting sidetracked by interesting but irrelevant details. While researching, highlight key points and make annotations. Once you've gathered all your information, summarize the key points and how they relate to your blog post sections or questions. This makes it easier to reference your research during the writing phase. While thorough research is important, recognize when you have enough information to start writing. More information can sometimes lead to analysis paralysis rather than enhance content. Limit your research time per article to avoid going down the rabbit hole. Use reliable sources and tools to gather information quickly. Tip number three, outline your posts. Creating a detailed outline is a critical step in the blog writing process, helping you to organize your thoughts, ensure a logical flow of information, and ultimately save time during the writing phase. Your introduction needs to have a compelling hook to grab readers' attention. This could be a surprising statistic, a question, or a relatable problem. Clearly state the purpose of your blog post. What will the reader learn or gain by reading it? Break down the body of your blog post into key sections. Identify the main points you want to address. Each point will form a separate section or subheading in your post. Arrange these points in a logical sequence. This could be chronological, order of importance, or any structure that makes sense for your topic and ensures a smooth flow. Use bullet points for emphasis where it makes sense. Decide where you might want to include images, charts, infographics, or videos to complement your text and make the content more engaging. Think about parts of the text that could be highlighted or broken out into callouts to draw attention to key points or tips. Craft a conclusion that resonates with readers. Briefly summarize the main points of your post to reinforce the takeaways. 
include a strong call to action that encourages readers to take a specific action, such as commenting, sharing the post, signing up for a newsletter, or checking out a related product or service. Tip number four, write first, edit later. The principle of write first, edit later encourages the separating of the writing and editing phases to ensure a smooth flow of ideas without getting bogged down by the critical process of editing. Here's how to apply this principle effectively. Embrace a drafting phase where you allow yourself to write freely without worrying about grammar, punctuation, or coherence. The goal is to get your ideas down on paper. Resist the urge to correct mistakes as you go. This includes spelling errors, awkward phrasing, or factual inaccuracies. You'll have the opportunity to address these issues during the editing phase. Keep your writing momentum by focusing on completing thoughts and sections according to your outline. If you're unsure about a particular detail or need to conduct additional research, make a note and move on. Writing without stopping to edit allows your creativity to flow more freely. Set aside specific times for writing separate from editing. This could mean writing your draft in one sitting or across several dedicated sessions, but the key is not to mix writing with editing. Consider using a timer to set writing intervals, such as 25-minute Pomodoro sessions, followed by short breaks. This can help you stay focused and productive. Before you start editing, take some time away from your draft. This could be a few hours or even a day. A break helps you return to your work with fresh eyes, making it easier to spot areas for improvement. Tip number five, use writing templates. Using writing templates is a strategic approach to streamline the creation of blog content, making the writing process faster and more efficient while maintaining quality. Templates provide a predefined structure for different types of posts, which can be customized according to the specific needs of your content. You start by understanding the different types of writing templates that are used today. Many of them have proven to be popular over and over again. Among them are listicles, how-to guides, product reviews, case studies, and opinion pieces. It's recommended that you create your own templates. You start by identifying common elements of your past blog posts. This could include an introduction, key points, subheadings, a conclusion, and calls to action. Now you standardize that structure that you have used in the past. You can apply this to all types of writing templates. Put your own in these templates to reflect your writing style and personality, which is what sets you apart from other writers. Templates save time by eliminating the need to start from scratch for each new post. They help you quickly lay out the structure so you can focus on filling in the content. They ensure a consistent structure and format across your blog, improving the reader's experience and making your content more professional. Tip number six, repurpose content. Repurposing content is a strategic way to maximize the value of your existing content by adapting it into different formats or updating it for different audiences or platforms. This approach can significantly extend the reach and lifespan of your content, driving more value from your efforts. Here's how to effectively repurpose content. You start by identifying content that you can repurpose. Focus on the evergreen content that remains relevant over time, such as how-to guides, expert advice, and foundational articles. Next, identify your best performing content. Analyze your content analytics to identify the blog posts that have performed well in terms of traffic, engagement, or conversions. These are prime candidates for repurposing. Now transform blog posts into other formats. Summarize your main points and put them into videos and shorts. You can also create visuals like infographics and images. Share these on various social media platforms. Finally, don't forget to update and republish old posts. Refresh these posts with new information, updated statistics, and current insights. This can improve SEO and bring new life to your existing content. 
By implementing these six strategies, you can create blog content more efficiently, allowing you to maintain a consistent posting schedule without sacrificing the quality of your work.